Good day guys, my name is Ademola Badmos and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are coming for the first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Have you always been struggling with uh, the idea of automating an email related task? Has it been a struggle for you to be able to retrieve OTPs? Have you been isolating that because you could not go through the rigor of that? Well, this particular playlist or should I say two playlists actually will teach you how to do this with Cypress. One way to do it is using the, actually is one way but divided into two. So these are prat practically the ways we, you can do it with a, a plugin called MailSlop. But Cypress has two ways to connect to MailSlop. It has the MailSlop API plugin itself and it also has its own Cypress plugin for MailSlop. So in this playlist in this playlist i'll make it two different series i will teach you how to use the mail slot client and also how to use the cypress plugin so this promises to be exciting so in the first part of this series that i'll do we will start with the mail slot client while in the second part we will do the java we'll do the sorry the cypress and uh, the cypress plugin type so let's get right into it because i do not want us to have a a plethora of playlists so in this same playlist i will just introduce us to the site that we are going to use so we are going to use this site called mima yeah it's a live site and it was given to me by a friend so we can be able to do this but i implore that you don't try to do it because after this whole series i'm going to talk to him and he's going to yank me of it so it is not something you can use so this is the site we are going to use the other thing that i also need to let you know is we are going to use the mail slot disposable email accounts it's uh it has an api that allows you to be able to uh, run um, like a virtual inbox and all the good part of it is that though it is a pricing uh, it has a pricing guide here but you can have a, 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 a free account that gives you 15 boxes per month. So because it's going to give us 15 boxes, it will be advisable if you are going to run it on Cypress. You should, when you're working locally, you should turn off, turn on the flag. You should turn off the flag for watching file changes. So by default, Cypress sets that to true. So you should set it to false. So whatever slight changes you make, it doesn't go ahead and try to create inboxes before you're done. So it will only reflect the changes when you try to run the Cypress runner. So you can get a free account, like I said, but it only gives you 15 inboxes um, per month. So you have very uh, limited resources. Then in order to do this, I also created a new email account. So I'm going to sign up as a new user using this email account. And we're going to get stuff done but because i would have signed up signed up here i am not going to do the same sign up process in the second playlist so it's going to just be a continuation of this playlist so please start from here so with that being said i will go right ahead and we start creating stuff so i'm going to create a folder and uh, in this folder we go to a normal place here Classes and we call this one um, mail slot client. Let's call it mail slot client since that's the type we we're trying to do first. So in this, what we'll quickly do is um, we open this and as usual, we go through the normal process. We open a terminal right inside here, and once we've opened the terminal, the first thing we do is we create a package.json file by doing this i have talked about this several in all my playlists in the different ways you can create a package.json file so we are not going to waste time discussing that and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to install cypress as a dev as a dev dependency and also the mail slot client please make sure you get the name right mail slot client I'm going to install both of them. Once both are installed, then I can start the Cypress runner. And um, we can begin to go on and collect other stuffs. So 
now that it is installed the next thing we need to do is just uh, npx open cypress for the first time we are going to the e2e -E part so let's just put the e2e -E flag as well so we don't need to start moving um, start choosing between component and e2e -E. so you're going to click on continue we're going to start with any of the browsers that we choose we are we allow it to create a sample for us then we can stop there and um, in the next video we would if you've been following all my video series you know i like to use fixture folders so i will create a fixture folder and i just add some little tweaks to the fixture folder this time around you understand so um i will create a fixture folder and we can move on from there okay so let me create a spec and in this place let me just create a folder here and say mail because there's mail let's say mail test and now um, call this one um, mail steps dot spec dot sy dot js so we create this we don't need to create another spec we can just close this and um if we open our folder now we have all of this created for us yes so we have this and we will not be using this so what we are going to do immediately is uh, we are going to populate this with uh, details here trimina is going to come here and uh, we will add a um, base url base url that's what we are going to add first uh, then the next thing that we are going to add is um, watch for file changes that i talk, that i talked about so you're going to set this to false so cypress doesn't automatically run the changes that you've made and um the next thing let's put a default command timeout we will need to set our default command timeout this time around to a larger percentage to a larger time so let's give it 30 sec 30 seconds why do we need to do that we need to do that because you know there is an api call so we want our page our uh we want cypress to be able to wait in time for that api call to happen the api exchange so in that way to also do a request timeout and we'll do that to 30,000 as well and uh, just to be on the safe side too the response timeout will be set to 30 seconds um yes that being said then we can begin to set our viewport height and uh, width now height let's put it at 800 this time for a change and then the width let's put it at um a thousand four hundred and um lastly what i have forgotten to mention in this new uh cypress version is uh the test isolation flag we are going to set this to false and i will tell you what it does so the test isolation flag what it essentially does is that without it set only one each block will be uh will be run so i will comment it out to just prove my point but once i set it uh once i come once i uncomment it we'll be able to run more than one each block at the same time it's one of the new features added to the latest um, versions of cypress so with all this done i think we are almost ready to start some stuff so i am going to stop this video here because i don't want it to be so long so in the next video we will uh collect our elements into the fixtures fixture folder um all the elements that we need to run the journey so which means that we are going to in that next video we are going to run a a small manual test to let us identify all the elements that are required to run a typical sign up on that particular site and um after that we'll collect all that elements so we can uh, put them in the fixtures folder and uh, run some other things Thank you for getting this far. Do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.